sisters and brothers, away no see me, Pastor Melo speaking. Today the theme of our video is about a despised miracle. On May 13th, 1981, a miracle took place. This miracle happened in full view of the whole earth. This miracle was front page news for days. It was on repeat on television. Yet, this miracle was despised. This miracle has not been raised to the pedestal it deserves. It is true that most commentators have indeed spoken of a miracle, but they got the miracle wrong. They raved about the man John Paul II. The peace rose to heaven. He survived the attack. The bullets fired by the terrorist Ali Aksa just missed his heart. Miracle of the Almighty, miracle of the Holy Mother of God, Our Lady, version of the Catholic Church which aims to be universal. The link with the Madonna was quickly established because it was May 13th, May 13th, 1981. But May 13th, since 1917, is no longer like the others. May 13th is stamped Fatima, that is, the six apparitions of a lady descended from heaven to speak to three little shepherds. These shepherds are Portuguese. They live in a small hamlet lost in an unknown village in central Portugal. This village bears the name of Fatima in memory of the old days when the black-skinned Moors occupied the Iberian Peninsula. But back to the miracle. The despised miracle is not that the Polish pop survived. As we mentioned above, the survival of John Paul II had a worldwide impact. No, the real miracle, the despised miracle that has been passed over in silence, the prodigy that goes beyond understanding is the date and time of the attack. May 13th, 1707. On May 13th, 1981, John Paul II participates in the general audience given in St. Peter's Square in the midst of 20,000 faithful. Suddenly, two shots ring out. A man hidden in the crowd has just shot the Pope. It is 17.07. When suddenly, all the radios, all the televisions stop, and the rumor is growing in Rome that the Pope has been the victim of a terrorist attack. Can we imagine the thousands of small details that had to be linked, combined, amalgamated, fitted together so that this attack falls on May 13th and that the hour and minute of the attack fall on the two digits of a divine message, 17 and 7. Let's talk about the terrorist, the Turkish Mehmet Ali Aksa. First, he had to come up with his terror line, then put it into practice. He had to leave his native Turkey to go to Rome. It would have been enough, for example, for him to miss his plane for his plan to fail. The failure could come from a broken leg to sleeping on a banana peel. The failure could have been caused by the terrorist waking up this famous May 13th with an acute colic nailing him to bed. Once in St. Peter's Square in Rome, he could have been stopped by a police check. Ali Aksa's plan could have crashed because of the crowd, too dense, too compact, 
preventing him from reaching the idol place to see the Pope, to draw his gun and to shoot him. Axe's weapon could have just, Axe could have just at the very moment when he pulled the trigger and a thousand other unforeseen events. of John II, a grain of sand in the well-oiled administrative machinery of the Vatican, an ominous intuition due to a bad dream, could have prompted the Pope to cancel his walkabout in St. Pierre. It would have taken a billion infinitesimal incidences for the true seconds corresponding to the two shots fired by Ali Aksa to occur a quarter of an hour earlier or a quarter of an hour later. A quarter of an hour earlier, the time would have been 16.52. A quarter of an hour later, 17.22. Thus, ruining the divine message that we will decipher in a few moments. Thus, we can see the invisible hand of the Almighty moving the large and small hands of the clock of history until the fateful hour and minute, 17.07. Let's decipher the message by reading the two numbers in the Anglo-Saxon way. 17 represents the year 1917. Seven represents the month of July. What is the coded message sent to us by the Almighty? 1917, the Fatima apparitions in Portugal. The month of July, the 13th day, is when the Lady of Heaven, who appeared to Lucia, Francisco and Jacinta, the little shepherds, deliver to them the content of the famous message which was to become the third secret of Fatima. This great secret is the birth of a child, this teen, when the time comes to change the curse of human history. Revelation chapter 12, verse 5. This child whose name in his mother tongue, Ikongo, which is, it should be emphasized, the original language of humanity means male child, Toko, was born in Angola on February 24th of the year following the apparitions, namely in 1918. I invite neophytes of the story of Fatima to follow the series Fatima for Kids posted on this YouTube channel. Finally, on May 13th, 1981, Toko, Simeon Toko by his full name, Revelation chapter 3, verse 12, sent John Paul II the following message. I have not forgotten you. I give you two more years, corresponding to the two shots, to make amends and save your soul. Matthew chapter 16 verse 26. Why two shots for two years? It is because Simeon Toko knew he was going to leave this world two years later, the last day of the year 1983. As nothing is left to coincidence in the man of Fatima's life, his story began in 1917 and ended in 1983, i.e. 19 minus 1917 equals 17. 1983 minus 2000 equals 17, placing him in the very center of the 20th century. Let's remind him that Toko's body is buried in Taya, Makela do Zombo, in the utmost northern part of Angola, the Hebraic Tzaphon, in fulfillment of two prophecies, Psalms 48, verses 1 to 2. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of His holiness, 
beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion, on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. Luke chapter 17, verse 37. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Where is Thither will the eagles be gathered together. John Paul II was to announce to the world Urbi et Orbi that topo. So means the bridegroom, Matthew chapter 25 verse 1, is the Messiah. Sign me on his first name literally means the great Messiah. Just read the two syllables backwards. Sime. Messi, he is the master, the one without whom neither Christianity nor Afarkuri, the church on which John Paul II was enthroned, would exist. Alas for the Polish Pope, he did not have the courage to tell the truth, as it implied that almost 2,000 years of lies were poured out in the public square. This would inevitably sign the death warrant of the Roman Catholic Church. The white Christ with woman a shame never existed. It of European painters who, against all logic and above all in the aim of manipulating the entire earth, represented Christ in the image of that fantasy dear to the Nazis and other white supremacists. Indeed, the Polish background in which John Paul II based from his earliest childhood, that of the Black Madonna of Chestokoba, should have greatly facilitated his task of disclosing the great secret. Far from defending him, Let's try to understand John Paul II. He knew that Western civilization is based on Judeo-Christianity, in a word, on the Bible, announcing to the world that Christ, who is at the center of the Holy Book, is black, African, is to sign the end of Western hegemony. At the announcement of this news, the center of gravity of the world would automatically shift from north to south, from the so-called white world to the so-called black world. John Paul II adopted the same attitude as John the Twenty-Third and Paul VI. Those since the year 1960 had been decreed by the celestial spheres as the year when the great secret was to know to be known to the whole world. John Paul I, his immediate predecessor, decided to reveal everything. They helped him pass from life to death after only 33 days of reign. John Paul II, during his visit to Zaire, current DRC in 1980, did try to tell the truth by publicly declaring that in his body, Christ is African. No one understood him. No one made the effort to decipher his words. The brainwashing suffered by Africans in particular and blacks in general has been such that they refuse to believe even when the evidence is put before them. To return to the theme of our video, the real miracle of May 13th, 1981 is the hand of the Almighty regulating with the precision of a Swiss clock thousands of small details so that the attack on John Paul II occurred at an hour and at a minute establishing an indisputable link with the third secret of Fatima, Simeon Toko, the unrecognized Messiah, the despised Messiah, the one who has been ignored as prophesied by Isaiah 50, true is the master of time and circumstances. Demonstrated it brilliantly on May 13th at 177 Ingeta.
Pastor Melo. Selue, 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 e mon ongele, lusala e luvu vamu. Gele kwa tata, ngele baka, ngolo zampa.